The Sugar Corporation of Jamaica SCJ Holdings is hoping to decide by next week which entity to grant a lease for lands in the Plant and Garden area of St. Thomas. It's part of an ongoing process to regularize farmers occupying lands in the area. More in this report. At the last meeting with representatives from the Agriculture Ministry, the Plant and Garden River farmers sought answers. Will we be able to see a copy of the lease? No, you will make up the lease. And with hopes of land security sooner than later, now there's progress. Member of Parliament for St. Thomas Eastern, Dr. Fenton Ferguson, was on a recent tour of the lands. Much of what we need to do now is by going back to the round table. We have discussed, we have seen, we have maps and properly um, diagrammed and therefore for us now it is to work out how we go from here. So what's the next step? The light green area on this map indicates the 400 acres which have been reserved for the farmers currently on the land, along with those who were recently impacted by the closure of different sugar operations in the parish. Chairman of the Sugar Corporation of Jamaica, SCJ Holdings, Joseph Shaker, says an additional 170 acres have also been set aside. SCJ will not lease to individual farmers and should make a decision by next week on several entities to include the Agro Investment Corporation and the All Island Sugar Farmers Association of Jamaica. And that entity will grant subleases to all of the farmers who are presently on the land. Now, we believe there are about 200 farmers on the land and that 400 acres ought to be sufficient to cover the needs or to meet the needs of the 200 farmers. But in addition to the farmers on the land, there are probably a similar number of former sugar workers and persons who are engaged in the sugar industry. But while assuring farmers of their tenure, farmers aren't the only ones securing land in the area. But we have to find a way where farmers can remain where they are cultivating and using land productively and still be able to accommodate larger investors who can provide employment to residents of the area. In addition to a cattle farm. There, there is another farmer, a medium-sized farmer, who, who has applied for and received a lease of about 100 and I think 50 acres to grow um, moringa and it, it, it's an produce its various byproducts. The land should be leased to the selected entity for between two to five thousand Jamaican dollars per acre. The selected leasee will add its own markup. Dwayne Anderson, TVJ News.